Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So today we will learn about um, control of microorganism in foods. Okay. So how to control uh, microorganism in food? Uh, we can divide it in cleaning in, and sanitation, physical removal, heat, low temperature, by reducing water activity, low pH or organic acid, modified atmosphere or reducing OR potential, antimicrobial preservatives, irradiation and uh, hurdle concept or combination of methods. Okay. So we'll uh, look into cleaning and sanitation, control of excess. So cleaning, complete removal of soil appropriate by using appropriate detergent and by using recommended condition by the uh, uh, apa nama ni, uh, supply, supplier of the detergent tu. Okay. And cleaning method, we have mechanical cleaning, which is CIP or COP, cleaning in place or cleaning out of place. And also we have manual cleaning. So sanitation basic uh, is to kill organism and exclude contamination and also prevent multiplication of the microorganism. Uh, steri steri sterilization means that statistical destruction and removal of all living organism. Disinfectant will kill 100% of vegetative cells and sanitize redu reduction of microorganisms to safe level. Okay. An objective of sanitation is minimize the excess of microorganisms in food from various various sources at all stages of handling, and proper sanitation help to reduce the microbial load to desired levels. Produce food that will have a long shelf life, uh, reduce the incidence of foodborne diseases. Okay, so what is sanitation based on WHO, all precautions and measures which are necessary in, in production, processing, storage and distribution in order to assure an, an object, uh, objectionable, sound and palatable product which is suited for human consumption. So sanitation uh, from Greek, eh, sanitas. And uh, and Gmerit said that the creation and maintenance of hygiene, hygienic and healthful condition. And for <clears throat> for sanitation, we have factors to con consider: food processing plant design must integrate with an effective efficient sanitary pro program. For example, they have the specific floor plan, adequate lights and air ventilation and quality of water, ice, brine and curing solution should be free from pathogen and low in spoilage bacteria. Okay, can you give me example uh, of um, other example for uh, factor to consider uh, for apa nama ni? Um, for the sanitation program and also can you discuss how water can contribute to microbial overload in processing food okay we have we have discussed about this before in previous lecture quality of air uh, filtration is important to reduce microbial contamination, training personnel, active program to teach the importance of sanitation and personal hygiene. Equipment must not contain that spot where microorganisms can harbor and grow, easy to clean and cleaning for of processing facilities. Okay, so in cleaning of processing facilities, uh, major classes of cleaning agent, we have steam, hot water, radiation and chemical. Chemicals, we have halogen, quaternary ammonium compounds, hydrogen peroxide, ozone and impregnated surface. Chemical sanitation effectiveness based on exposure time, more microorganism longer, more microorganism longer time exposure, and temperature. Generally, the hotter the temperature, the more effective the chemical sanitizer. And the effectiveness of chemical sanitizer is based on the concentration. 
pH, clean, cleanliness, uh, water hardness and bacteria attachment. Ideal sanitizers must destroy uh, vegetative microorganisms well in different environment, dissolve in water, inexpensive, easy to use, re readily available, should not irritate skin and should not have offensive odor. So this is the types and and of disinfectant and its qualities. You can see here, uh, we have alcohol, hypochlorite, aerophos, uh, quaternary ammonia compounds, phenolic, aldehyde, and oxidizer. <coughs> so the, the <coughs> it based on the, boleh tengok lah, activity, organic met effect, matter effect, cost, and human toxicity. Eh? Okay, so this is another, another example eh, uh, of types of uh, disinfectant. Uh, contoh alcohol, we have rubbing alcohol, isopropyl, uh, ethanol and uses for small objects, hands, macam sekarang kita guna untuk tangan kita lah. Eh? Okay, handling and storage in general, sanitation and cleaning compound should be stored in an area remote from normal traffic. So, tak, tak ada orang lalang lah. Eh, area should have pallets or storage rack to keep containers or floor. Area should be locked. Uh, use of uh, an inventor sheet uh, is recommended. Uh, use should be monitored by one individual, container should be resealed properly after use. And you must remember to follow manufacturer direction for the scented disinfectant remix to get proper concentration for storage as well. So this is the sequence uh, of sanitation. We have the dry cleanup and then rinse all residual from machinery and floor and then detergent application and scrubbing and then we have final rinse, inspect and spot clean and then sanitize. Eh? So we did not, we will, will not dry our plates like this, right? So we need to have a proper method to clean our plates, eh? our dishes. Okay, dry clean up, remove all large particles from the floor, keep particles out of drain, soils redu reduce, uh, re soil will reduce the effectiveness. pre rinse water temperature should be around uh, 120 to 130 Fahrenheit. Above 130 will set protein, except pressure will spread. Soils, part can be pre-soaked in 120 degree Fahrenheit water to loosen soil. <coughs> Detergent application mix to manufacture recommendation. Uh, apply generously yang kena kot. Okay, start at the top uh, and work down. Wash gaps and small area. Let's stand for recommended time and rinse before dry. Okay, and then application method, manual hand scrubbing. We have cleaning out of place. High pressure spray from system, gel system and cleaning in place, CIP. And then the final rinse, uh, use 140 degrees Celsius for hotter water, rinse from, from high to low area, avoid aerosol of water and splashing from floors, remove water pools. But water pools ni uh, akan jadi tempat pembelikan bacteria. Inspect and spot clean, target hard to reach area, bits of water will produce fatty film, rainbow color of stainless steel uh, equals to protein deposit, re-clean area if excessive soils are present. Sanitize, mix as manufacturer recommend, manufacturer recommends, test concentration before application, apply in all small and hard to reach areas, most effective on clean surfaces. So this is the cleaning frequency uh, for walls, uh, ceiling, oven, freezers. Eh? So we have daily here, floors, walls, ceiling, food contact surfaces, utensil, raw product, storage, shipping dock, restroom, locker room and office. Weekly, floors, walls, shelves, cooler, packaging, storage. Monthly, we have oven, hoods and range. 
and semi annually freezes lah basically eh. <coughs> so pH of cleaning compound range from 1 to 14. So kita tahu lah yang ni basic and acidic and all. So alkaline compound remove fats and protein. My alkaline cleaner is for hand scrubbing. Mini, medium alkaline detergent is for foam and hand scrubbing. Heavy alkaline cleaner is for foam and cleaning. Meanwhile, for acid detergent, remove mineral deposit, some germicidal effect and foam or in a CIP system. Okay, control by physical removal. Uh, we have centrifugation, filtration, trimming and washing. So centrifugation uh, is used in some liquid food to remove suspended undesirable particles. And an example of milk, fruit juices and syrup. Process exposing food in a thin layer to a high centrifugal force. Yang ni sebab kita biasa buat dekat lab kan, guna centrifuge kan. The heavier particles move outward and are separated from lighter liquid mass. Under high force, 90% of the microbial population are removed. And then filtration, sterilize heat sensitive liquids and gases by removing microorganisms rather than destroying them. So depth of filter, thick fibrous and granular filter that remove microbes by physical screening and treatment and absorption. Membrane filters, thin filters will define pore size that remove microorganisms primarily by physical screening and also high efficiency of the air, HEPA filters used in laminate airflow, biological safety cabinet to stress air. Can you give me example what type of food that use this method and explain the reason for filtration, okay? Trimming, pieces cut off uh, in uh, in trimming, clipping, paring and pruning, uh, remove contaminated microorganism from fruits and vegetables, also remove visible mold growth from hard cheese, fermented sausages, bread and some low pH product. Uh, however, it does not help remove pathogen from the surrounding areas. So, kita trim dia macam uh, apa, uh, buah. Kalau buah apple kan, ada rosak sikit, kita trim. Uh, daun, kita kerat sikit. Okay. Washing fruit and vegetables are washed regularly to reduce temperature, reduce metabolic rate of a produce and microbial growth. Uh, and remove soil helps remove the soil and the microorganism from food, raw and vegetables. Control by heat to destroy vegetative cells and spore of microorganism includes mold, yeast, bacteria and viruses. Most bacteria are killed at 82 to 93 degrees Celsius but spore are not. To ensure sterility, you must have wet heat at 121 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. High uh, acid foods require the same temperature of heat for less time. So yang ni ni, ingat balik tak ni temperature apa? 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Boleh ingat tak? Uh, from your opinion, can we just use sterilization to sterilize food? Uh, can we just use sterilize, sterilization to sterilize food? Tak, tak payah guna metal lain. Just sterilize je. Can or not? Okay, low heat processing or pasteurization, which is below 100 degrees Celsius. Objective to destroy all vegetative cells of pathogen and, large num and a large number of associated microorganisms. The temperature and time are set to the lowest level. Pasteurization, we have two methods, which is <clears throat> heating at 62.8 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, which is low temperature, low time. Low temperature. So, uh, 71 degrees, 71.1 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. High temperature, high temperature. <clears throat> Short time, uh, ni high te low temperature, long time, high temperature, short time. Okay, used to destroy the most of uh heat resistant Q fever causing pathogen, coxilla berniti. So, boleh explain tak kenapa kita 
guna temperature and time are set at to the lowest level. Kenapa kita kita guna pasteurization? Time are set to the lowest temperature and time are set to the lowest level. Okay. High heat process food. High heating food are uh, uh, at or above 100 degrees Celsius for a desired period of time. The temperature and time depends uh, on the product characteristic and the specific microorganism to be destroyed. Low acid or high pH are given um, a treatment to destroy Clostridium botulinum. Type A and B spores, the most resistant spore of a pathogen for high acid uh, or low pH products lower heat treatment is used. So we have UHD, ultra high temperature processing, high temperature short time, uh, 150 degrees Celsius for 2 to 3 seconds, so it can be stored at room temperature for 3 months chef life. Okay, microwave heating. The wave change their polarity very quickly. Oppositely charged water molecule in a food rapidly move to align uh, along the waves. The movement of water molecules generate frictional heat causing the te temperature of the food to rise very rapidly. Little to uh, microorganism but microwave heated food cannot be considered safe from pathogen. Okay. Why? Kenapa microorganism uh, makanan tu tak consider selamat daripada patogen tapi dia membunuh mikroorganism kenapa ah uh, so you should know that when we use microwave heating microwave tu tak memanaskan makan tak bukan macam dia konsep dia tak macam oven eh konsep macam oven dia panaskan makanan tu tapi uh, you need to know that microwave use wave to change the polarity of the water uh, dalam makanan ada air so the polarity of the the water change quickly so that dia bergerak dengan laju dan uh, apa nama ni akan menyebabkan molekul water tu panas eh the movement of uh, the movement of water molecules generate frictional heat causing the temperature of the food to rise very rapidly dia bukan ma 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 guna oven macam uh, ada panas sebab tu bila kita buka microwave uh, kita tak rasa panas tu kecuali makanan tu je yang panas kan uh, lain konsep dia dengan uh, apa nama ni oven so nanti saya akan share juga video uh, untuk microwave heating ni da, uh, dalam uh, e-learning ya. Eh. Control by low temperature. Objective to prevent or to reduce growth of microorganism. Low temperature reduces or prevents uh, catalytic activity of microbial enzyme. Germination of spores also reduce. Freezing and thawing is little to microbial cells and under specific condition, 90% of more of the population can die. Freezing is used to preserve starter cultures for use in food while processing. Normally, the generation time within certain range is double for every 10 degrees Celsius reduction in temperature. Some temperature called psychophiles. Psychophiles actually thrive at relatively low temperature and will continue slow growth. Food frozen at least uh, then minus 10 degrees Celsius usually do not have any free water. Do this um, uh, food also benefit from low water activity to help protect against microbial growth? So cold preservation, refrigeration, slow grow, slow down the biological chemical uh, and physical reaction that shorten the shelf life of food for safety reason purposes. Refrigeration should uh, be kept between forty degrees Celsius. Uh, all perishable food should be refrigerated as soon as possible, preferably during transport to prevent bacteria from multiplying. So ice chill, eh? Ice chilling food are kept over ice. Temperature fluctuation due to the size of container or melting of ice. Duration of storage and cross contamination can cause microbial problem. 
if you are okay for example if you are traveling across the country with perishable food that you put uh, in the ice box and uh, and ice what would you do to slow down the melting process and you need to explain explain why uh, so adding salt to the ice by adding salt to the ice will produce salt solution on the ice surface and this solution has higher melting point compared to the ice that slow down the ice from melting okay refrigeration refrigerated products are expected to have long shelf life additional preservation methods are combined with a with the lowest possible temperature that can be used however as products are non sterile microorganisms microorganism capable to grow freezing minimum temperature in, in home freezer is minus 20 degrees celsius free water in food remain in a frozen state dry ice minus 78 degrees celsius and liquid nitrogen minus 196 degrees celsius can also be used for freezing and rapid freezing depending on the type food can be stored uh, at refrigerated temperature for months or even a year microorganism cell dry, die during frozen storage however survival can multiply in the unfrozen food so freezing makes water unavailable for microorganism so bila tak ada water microorganism tak boleh nak membiak eh tak boleh guna water itulah the chemical and physical reaction leading to deterioration are slowed by freezing transit the breakdown of polyunsaturated fatty acid in fast that result in disagreeable odors and flavors freezer burn white or grayish patches on frozen food caused by water evaporating into the package air space so contoh macam freezer burn ni macam contoh macam dah you simpan ayam dalam freezer and then you buka keluar balik you thaw and then you masukkan balik and then you buka keluar balik so you akan nampak the whitish or greyish patches dekat food tu eh sebab uh, uh, air tu dia membentuk kristal dalam uh, apa nama sebab tu dalam freezer so dia akan uh, penetrate dalam isi ayam tu isi ayam tu ayam lah eh so dia, dia penetrate dalam isi ayam tu dia akan pecahkan uh, isi ayam tu ayam tu akan jadi mushy lah tak, tak rasa macam ayam yang yang biasa so elakkan daripada apa nama ni freeze and thaw tapi tak guna freeze thaw freeze thaw tapi tak guna okay okay can control by reduce water activity objective to prevent and reduce the growth of vegetative cells and germination and outgrowth of spore of microorganism prevent of toxin production by toxigenic molds and bacteria retain viability of starter culture bacteria water availability in general low, lower water activity inhibits microbial growth Osmo, osmophilic microorganism prefer high osmotic pressure and xerophilic microorganism prefer low water activity so this is the minimum water activity for microbial growth at optimum growth temperature so kita boleh tengok kat sini lah eh, bacteria mana yang perlukan uh, water activity yang tinggi tapi kebanyakannya semua perlu water activity yang tinggi kecuali Saccharomyces roxy ni kan okay so method removing water by dehydration removing water by crystallization adding solute to beat water so natural dehydration water is removed by heat of the sun ni menyalai eh menyalai slow process some bacteria can still grow during the drying process mechanical drying control process in a few seconds thermal drying roller drying and spray drying depending on the temperature and time of exposure some microbial cell can die during drying process freeze drying quality of food is least affected cost costly process during storage especially at high storage temperature and in high presence of oxygen, cells die rapidly initially and then more slowly. Spores are not affected. So we have commercial drying. Uh, the most important types of uh, commercial drying are conventional heat, vacuum, post water arc, osmotic, water drawn out by osmosis, freeze drying, ice crystal vaporized. 
So this is how uh, freeze drying works. Eh? So fresh and cooked food are flash frozen then placed in vacuum chamber. So we have frozen it. And then about to 98% of the food when moisture is drawn off by evaporating the ice at temperature as low as minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The freeze dried food is sealed in moisture and oxygen proof pack packaging to ensure freshness until open. When the water is replaced, the food regains its original fresh flavor, aroma, texture and appearance. appearance. So this is the typical freeze drying process lah. You can see the food at the heated tray, water, water vapor, valve, freezer, condenser and vacuum pump. <clears throat> Sublimation is the process in which a solid changes directly to vapor without passing through the liquid phase. Okay, and then freeze dried food ni taste fresh, look fresh, way less than fresh but dia buang air and then stay fresh sebab kita buang air tu and then kita replace balik uh, air uh, sebab tu tak ada deterioration or spoilage eh. Okay, sugar, salt and smoke. Salt and sugar, salt and smoke are chemical means of controlling food deterioration. The addition of food or salt to a food increases the affinity of the food and over for water. This removes the water from the metabolism through osmosis. Smoke contains formaldehyde uh, and other preservatives. The heat involved with adding the smoke help reduce the microbial population and it dries the food somewhat. Okay, controlled by pH and organic acid uh, to control microbial growth. As the food becomes more acid, more acidic, low pH, the heat con required for sterilization is reduced. For example, pH uh, of corn is about 6.5 and 100, uh, 108 degrees Celsius. Uh, 15 minutes are required to destroy uh, Clostridium botulinum. So as it may occur naturally in food, be produced by fermentation or be added artificially. As it used in food, uh, ni, uh, apa nama? As it used in uh, to control food uh, microbial growth is acetic acid, propionic acid, lactic acid, citric acid, sorbic acid, benzoic acid and parabens. Okay, okay. <coughs> control by mod modified atmosphere or reducing OR potential eh, to control or reduce the growth of undesirable microorganisms in food. Three technologies are to alter the uh, atmosphere in food. Control atmosphere packaging, CAP. Modified atmosphere packaging, MAP. And vacuum packaging, PP. So CAP, the atmosphere in a storage facility is altered and the level of the gases are continually monitored and adjusted as required. MAP does not require high degree of control of the gases environment during the entire storage period. Food is enclosed. Uh, in a high gas barrier ma ma packaging material that uh, the air is removed from the package thus flush with particular gas and com or combination of gases that for BP vacuum packaging involves removal of air and removal from the package and then sealing the package uh, hermetically and then atmosphere changing the storage atmosphere reduce food deterioration. The growth of aerobe is slowed by removing the oxygen while providing oxygen limits the growth of anaerobes. Adding carbon dioxide or nitrogen uh, also slows deterioration. Atmosphere exclude air for control aerobe, provide air for control and anaerobes, adding CO2 and add uh, and, uh, nitrogen uh, basically. Okay, ni kita boleh tengok uh, method eh, for vacuum packaging. Then red meat, pork, turkey, refrigerated storage life of this product varies greatly depends on the food. Gas flushing, gases usually are a mixture of carbon dioxide, nitrogen with some oxygen for packaging red meat. The composition of gas mixture must be tailored for each product. 
for example, from meats, we have uh, 75% carbon dioxide, 50% nitrogen and 10% oxygen was found to effectively prevent uh, prevent those of Pseudomonas fragi for a limited period. Okay, control by antimicrobial preservative uh, definition. Food additive are any substances that become part of food product. Uh, food additive can be intentionally or unintentionally. Uh, it is a grass daily required, uh, regard as safe substances. So, this is some antimicrobial chemical preservative used in food. Boleh baca dekat sini. Ada macam-macam jenis eh. So, intentionally uh, intention additive uh, enrichment, store last loss nutrient to food, fortification, increase nutritional value of food. For contoh fortification, macam roti lah. Macam roti eh. Dia tambah vitamin A, vitamin C lah, macam-macam dalam roti supaya uh, increase the nutritional value of food eh. Unintentional additive, insecticide, fungicide, herbicide, plant growth regulators, hormone and antibiotic. So yang ni kita tak tak sengaja tambah. Okay. Uh, contoh macam insecticide, the herbicide, the spray sayur. So benda, benda tu akan ada dalam makanan kita. Walaupun kita cuci sikit, tapi akan ada sikit dalam makanan. Okay. Function to prolong self life, change pre uh, preserve color, enhance flavor, improve nutritional value, compensate for vitamin and mineral deficiencies, maintain freshness, prevent spoilage and facilitate food processing. Improper uses to, to distinguish, to disguise faulty or inferior products, to deceive consumer, to destroy nutritional value, to produce effect that can otherwise be achieved safely. Benefits, reduce food spoilage, maintain nutrient quality, lower food cost and reduce occurrence of disease. And the risk can be cancer, birth defect, allergies and health problems can result. Oil is soluble in body fat, the cost of food production increase for farmers. Okay, we have types of additives here. Antioxidant, coloring agent, emulsifier or stabilizer and preservative. So antioxidant, it prevent fat and oil from spoiling, coloring agent, improve color of processing food, emulsify or stabilizer, prevent mixed food from separating, and preservatives, prevent the growth of spoiled organism. So, you have sweetness here, flavor enhancers, bring out the taste of food. Chemical, chemical additives such as sodium benzoate, sodium acid, sodium or calcium propionate, propionate, and sulfur dioxide, dioxide retard the growth of microorganism, modify enzyme activity, inhibit chemical reaction or modify the structure of foods. And we have control by irradiation. Radiation includes X-ray, microwave, ultraviolet light and gamma rays. Uh, radiation can destroy microorganisms and inactive enzyme. So we have uh, a process by which <clears throat> food exposed to ionizing radiation, which is gamma, for the purpose of preservation. Source of radiation are cesium-137, cobalt-60 and x-rays. Most commonly used is cobalt due to the high cost of cesium-137. So kita boleh tengok kat sini. Ni lambang dia. Radiation kills harmful bacteria to make your food safer. So dia ada lambang kat sini. So employee need not wash hand, we have food radiation. So this is a, just a joke uh, basically. Eh? So this is the international food irradiation symbol. So why food irradiation eliminates quarantine pests from fresh food, fruits and vegetables? Replacement for pesticide reduces microorganisms that cause foodborne illness, prevent parasite transmission in food, delay ripening and prevent sprouting of fresh fruits and vegetables, eliminate insects, uh, invest in grains and spices. So this is the dosage uh, of the end users, one red radiation absorbed dose defined as the quantity of ionizing radiation that ensure uh, in the absorption of 100 ERGS 
of energy per gram of an irradiated material, 1 GY equals to 100 reps. According to the International Air Safety Authorities, food radiated up to 10,000 GY, 10 kGY are considered safe. So, insect, kurang daripada 1 kGY, more yeast bacterial cells between 0 0.5 to 10 kGY, bacterial spores 10 to 50 kGY, and viruses 10 to 200 kGY. Low dose up to 1 kGY inhibits sprouting, kills, prevent insect production in grains, fruits, vegetables after harvest, delay ripening of fruits. High dose 10 to 10, 200 kGY, sliced meat, poultry and fish, kills microbes and insect on spices. So we have specific term here, radiurization, radicidation and radipertization. So radiurization is uh, treatment is milder between uh, 1 kGY product should be packed and chilled uh, to prevent growth of pathogen. Radicidation, destroy vegetative food one pathogen. So the doses is 2.5 to 5 uh, kGY. Product needs to be stored under um, below 4 degrees Celsius to prevent germination outgrowth of spores of Crocidium botulinum. Radipertization, high dose uh, between 30 kGY to destroy Crocidium botulinum spores. Not recommended for food, can be stored at room temperature lah kalau makanan yang uh, high dose ni. Okay, what about UV radiation? Do you have any any opinion about it? Okay, now we move on to the concept. The combined use of several preservation method, possibly and, uh, and chemical or a combination of different preservative uh, is an age-old practice. It has been commonly applied by the food industry to ensure food safety and stability. So we have physical hurdles, psychochemical hurdles, and microbial derived hurdles. So yang ni boleh baca lah ni example of physical hurdles ni apa, aseptic packaging, electromagnetic energy, physical chemical hurdles, carbon dioxide, ethanolactic acid, microbiology, microbiology, so that's all for today. Uh, uh, that's all for today. So uh, so thank you for listening. Uh, any any problem? I will. Uh, please do uh, message me in WhatsApp, okay? Thank you guys. Bye.